According to the Indian Minister of Civil Aviation, India's drone industry was worth just 2,900 crore rupees in 2020, but it's expected to reach 295,000 crore rupees by 2030. And the government of India is doing everything that they can to support this growth. They liberalized the Indian drone market with the introduction of the Drone Rules 2021, which labeled 90% of India's airspace as green zones for drone operations, and also allowed drones to operate up to vertical distances of 120 meters. At the time of us filming this video, there are approximately 333 drone startups in India, and today we wanted to look at the top 10 of these companies that are at the forefront of India's drone revolution. And so we're going to start off with Chennai based Garuda Aerospace. Founded by Agnishwar Jai Prakash and Ritika Mohan in 2015, Garuda Aerospace offers more than 50 types of drones and over 50 types of services to more than 750 clients across the country. Also, earlier this year, they launched their flagship Garuda Kisan drone, which comes equipped with a pesticide and fertilizer spraying nozzle. And thanks to their precision spraying, farmers are able to reduce their pesticide usage by 70% and water usage by 80% while increasing their crop productivity by 30%. The company made 47 crore rupees in revenue in FY23 and expects to sell around 25,000 drones in FY24. And with each drone priced at 4.5 lakh rupees, if they're able to meet their target, their revenue would cross 1,000 crore rupees in FY24. Earlier this year, Garuda Aerospace raised $22 million, which is the largest ever series a round for an Indian drone startup, valuing them at $250 million. All right, up next, we have Bengaluru-based Red Wing Labs, which was founded by Anshu Sharma, Rishabh Gupta, and Arunabha Bhattacharya in 2018. And the best way that I can describe what these guys are doing is that they're kind of building what you would call a swiggy, but for hospitals using drones. So basically, hospitals always need to be stocked up on things like blood, vaccines, and medicine to make sure that they're ready for emergencies. But the problem with this approach is that they end up overstocking as they don't really know how much of these healthcare products they're actually going to need on any given day. And Red Wing is solving this exact problem. So they're basically creating a virtual cold chain ecosystem where they stock up on various healthcare products and deliver them to hospitals on demand within 90 to 120 minutes. This saves hospitals money on their own cold chain infrastructure and also reduces wastage. And Red Wing Labs' solutions are particularly helpful in remote parts of India where hospitals either don't have enough cold chain infrastructure or they're located in areas that are unreachable via roads. In fact, in the last two years, Red Wing Labs has already started their pilot drone delivery programs in Arunachal Pradesh and Odisha. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have Gurugram based Sky Air Mobility, which was founded by Ankit Kumar, Chandra Prakash, Srikant Sarda, and Swapnik Chakampudi in 2019. So, Sky Air Mobility started as a drone delivery company, but now they're building a traffic management system for drones. So, you have the ATC, the air traffic controller, to monitor and manage the flow of manned flights in the sky, but there's really nothing like like that for drones in India. And that's exactly why Sky Air Mobility is building this service. In fact, in 2023, they launched something that they're calling Sky UTM. That's their unmanned traffic management system. And this allows you to register your drone on their SaaS platform, shows you all the other drones in the sky, and also provides you with the approvals that you need from the government authorities before you can fly your drone. And so this communication really makes the airspace safer for all drones here in India in general, but also this information helps Sky UTM to essentially create a map for drones. So it can show you all the obstacles in your flight path, and it can also show you the fastest route you can take to your destination. And so it's kind of like they're building Google Maps, but for the sky here in India, and this is something that's definitely gonna become increasingly crucial as drones become a part of our daily lives. All right, coming up next here, we have Hyderabad-based Bharat Rohan. While studying aeronautical engineering in Lucknow, Amandeep Banwara and Rishabh Choudhury were testing their drones in agricultural fields when they came to know that farmers lose most of their crops due to diseases and pests. But by the time these farmers were able to detect this infestation, it was often too late. And so after finishing their engineering, the duo decided to start their own drone company. And so they decided to equip their drones with hyperspectral imaging cameras and started analyzing data and giving it to farmers to improve crop yield and quality. And they did this by telling farmers exactly which part of their fields were infested with pests, which part of their soil needed more nutrients, and which crops were ridden with diseases. And so this way, farmers could use pesticides and fertilizers as they're needed and before it's too late. Today, Barhad Rohan is working with 19,000 farmers across the country, and they want to increase their farm coverage from 50,000 acres to 5 lakh acres in the next two years. All right, next up, we have Bengaluru-based Asteria Aerospace, which was founded by Nihar Vartak and Neil Mehta in 2011. Asteria Aerospace 
is a full stack drone manufacturer, which means that they make everything from the hardware that goes into their drones to the software powering them. And the company started their journey with the development of their flagship fixed wing drone Cygnus and Genesis, the software used to power their drones. And just like traditional drone companies, Asteria Aerospace is selling their drones to help companies with surveillance, mapping, and agricultural use cases. But while doing this, they realize that while larger companies can definitely afford to buy their drones, smaller companies just can't. And so in 2022, they launched Skydeck, which is their drones as a service platform, which enables their customers to use their drones without having to purchase them and use the insights derived from the drones and the data that they collect to make business decisions. This has helped their customers in reducing their upfront cost and also making it easier for them to access drones on demand for their use cases. Thanks to Asteria's ambitious goals, the company was acquired by Reliance in 2019 in a deal worth 23 crore rupees for a 51.78% stake. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have Bengaluru-based New Space Research and Technologies, which was founded by Samir Joshi and Julius Amrit in 2017. New Space is building the next generation of smart drones. So most drones that you can buy today are pretty simple and perform limited functions. There's an operator who controls the drone, but if you need to cover a larger area, then you need multiple drones and multiple operators. And this just isn't very efficient. But imagine if you had a set of smaller drones that needed minimal or no human interaction whatsoever, could communicate with each other, using algorithms and perform tasks like a single entity. That way, even if one of the drones is damaged or starts to malfunction, the larger intelligent network of drones up in the air continues to function without any issues. And this is kind of mimicking the behavior of birds or bees. And so these types of drones are called swarm drones, and that's exactly what New Space Research and Technologies is building. These kinds of swarm drones have a very strong use case in the military, which is why the Indian Army has already signed a deal with New Space to procure 100 of these swarm drones, which are capable of attacking at least 50 kilometers inside of enemy territory. All right, coming up next, we have Pune-based drone Acharya Aerial Innovations, which was founded by Pratik Srivastava in 2017. So Drone Acharya does offer your typical drone-based surveillance, mapping, and logistics solutions using both underwater and aerial drones, but most of their revenue actually comes from their drone-related training services. And this is an opportunity that most of the startups operating in this industry seem to have missed. See, India's drone industry has been growing pretty quickly, and as it does, there's an increase in demand for qualified drone pilots and people who can work with drones, be it people building drones or the people who are processing the data collected by these drones. And so Drone Acharya is actually one of the 63 DGCA recognized remote pilot training organizations in India. So far, 5,500 drone pilots have been trained in India and more than 500 of them have been trained by Drone Acharya. The company has an ambitious goal of training 25,000 drone pilots every single year. And to do that, they're planning to increase the number of their drone training schools from just two to eight by the end of FY24. All right, coming up next, we have Mumbai-based Sagar Defense Engineering, which was founded by Nukunj Parashar, Mridul Babar, and Lakshay Dung in 2016. So Sagar Defense Engineering got their start making unmanned marine vehicles for the surveillance of marine borders. But since then, they've also built aerial drones and also a flagship fully autonomous charging and launching system for drones called Skydock, which they've developed alongside the DRDO. Then though, in 2022, they took things a step further by showcasing India's first passenger carrying drone called Varuna. This human carrying drone is capable of carrying a payload of up to 130 kilos and can fly for 30 minutes covering a distance of 25 kilometers. Now this massive drone was designed for the Indian Navy to help them transport their personnel between warships, but Varuna could also be used as an air ambulance in remote areas or to perform rescue operations too. All right, coming up next, we have New Delhi-based Bot Lab Dynamics, which was founded by Tanmay Bankar, Anuj Kumar Barnwal, and Dr. Sarita Alawat in 2016. So this startup began by building swarm drones for defense applications like surveillance, disaster management, and delivery of crucial payloads. So during one of their tests, BotLab's team realized that it was pretty much impossible to test their drones at night. And so to fix this problem, they put a couple of LEDs on their drones, and in doing so, they stumbled onto a new opportunity that they had never thought of, and that was entertainment. In fact, according to one report, the market for drone light shows is estimated to be worth $4.7 billion in 2022, and is expected to reach $14 billion dollars by 2029. But of course, not a lot of people actually have the capabilities to pull something like this off. Drone light shows are very complicated, which is why BotLab Dynamics is making it their business. They started building smaller sized custom drones from scratch for their specific light show use case. And then they made headlines when they conducted their first ever 1000 drone light show in 2022. Today, BotLab Dynamics is the go-to drone light show company in India. And they use their swarm technology for light shows during the 2023 Cricket World Cup final when they conducted the world's second largest drone light show with 
3,500 drones. All right, now before we move on to the final company in this video, I wanna quickly shout out my friend Karthik, who was working at a robotics company in the United States, but decided to move back to India to start a drone startup very recently. This company is called Agam Robotics, and Karthik is building in public over on his YouTube channel, Karthik Quads. So go over there, check it out, hit subscribe, and tell them that Backstage with Millionaires sent you. And then finally, of course, you knew these guys were coming, and they're not really a startup anymore, but we have to talk about them because they are the most successful drone company in the country, Mumbai-based Idea Forge. So back in 2004, three IIT Bombay students, Rahul Singh, Ankit Mehta, and Ashish Bhatt, wanted to build a hovercraft to float on a lake. And it was while tinkering with this hovercraft technology that they ended up discovering the quadcopter configuration, which led them to build their first drone prototype. They started Idea Forge in 2007 to work on drone-related projects, and then in 2008, their hovercraft technology won them the MAV competition, which was organized by the Indian Army and the United States Department of Defense. Up until this point, they were just building drones and drone-related parts for the DRDO and other clients based on their needs, but it was during the 2008 Mumbai attacks that they realized how drones could have been used instead of helicopters to carry out discrete surveillance missions for the Indian defense industry. By 2009, they had built Netra UAV, which was India's first quadcopter drone for surveillance and mapping, and since then, IdeaForge drones have been consistently used by the Indian Army and other defense agencies. Today, IdeaForge is India's largest drone manufacturer with 50% market share, and they also made 186 crore rupees in revenue in FY23, and nearly 69% of this came from the defense industry itself. All right, those were our picks for the top 10 drone startups in India. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one.